our aim when we're mapping is to have a number of hubs if you like tracing and tracking the multiple places that the story the conversation goes so that we can say well we started here and then it went there and then it went there and this is how the whole thing interacted and we're thinking about what's going on between us within me inside me and around me in the culture and even beyond that the key concept from cognitive analytic therapy is this idea of the reciprocal relationship or the reciprocal response and it starts like this so we're now going inside one of these hubs and seeing here at the bottom end of this box, this hub, from which there's a number of patterns of interaction that are springing, if you like, or uh, being enacted, is something, we're going to say, a feeling, something about a felt experience. What am I feeling? What's happening to me? Am I feeling sad? Am I feeling excited? Am I feeling put upon? Am I feeling uh, confused? As we put down the words, we may have a number of words, we may have words for feelings, phrases. The very act of putting these feeling words down triggers a conversation, a dialogue, and we may find that we put one word down and we cross it out and put new words. It's a felt sense, and it may not be so conscious. It may be that the very act of putting the words down raises our awareness. And particularly so, when we begin to ask the question, hands out like that, what is going on that's causing me that feeling? What is going on right now or in the story I'm telling or the memory I'm having? And how does it stand in relation to myself and the world I'm in? And the way we ask what is going on is looking for the doing words. What is going on? Is, is it something I am doing? to myself? Is it something others are doing? Is it something in the culture, in the air almost, in the air of the culture? Is it in the rules? Is it how to be boys, how to be girls, how to be men, how to be women? Is it something about the positioning? But there's something about this which is placing me or positioning me to respond. It's a powerful doing that creates the feeling and then there's a third question if i'm feeling this because this is going on and this is not just a one-off but a pattern that is recurring it's a narrative that i can see a narrative of interaction at the heart of my life story or an important part of my identity when i'm feeling this because this is going on within me perhaps between me and others within through memories of past interactions with others, what's my response? And this response has a cognitive element. How do I appraise this whole thing? Not just how do I appraise this, but in my response, how do I appraise the possible options of action? What could I be doing up here that would take me away from feeling this? Or what can I do to be at the top end of this reciprocal role? So I'm doing the doing or I'm changing myself. At least it's not me doing the doing. It's just the culture. And if I was doing this in response to that, what would I then be feeling? Or if I do that, and it's this ability to hover and shimmer, as we say elsewhere in the videos, and be able to decide something more or even uncover and realize what's the appraisal or the uh, thinking behind my response. I'm not likely to be aware of it in the moment of enacting it. I can read into the appraisal, so what I'm doing, what I'm thinking and where it goes, where it ends up. And this idea of understanding here, right here, what do I want? Or need or what do I don't want or need when I'm feeling this because this is going on because it's coming from me or coming from the others and it's positioning me in a certain way and I respond by hoping to be here or fearing being here and having this feeling or wanting to find refuge here safe place we sometimes think of this 
the doing and the feeling is the key. Is it a passing reciprocation, something I've got caught up in? Is it something I can understand? Is it a pull and a push that I'm in a kind of cause and effect, call and response relationship with? Or is it something that is rooted in the very structure of my idea of myself or one big part of my social identity and so on? We start mapping by listening for feeling words. And the minute we start getting feeling words down, we begin to wonder about the goings on, the doings. We're bringing the past into the present tense, by the way, to make it immediate, to make it alive in the present. Have the feeling words. And then we're interested in the coping. Coping in myself and coping with others or with the world around me, through identity, through role and so on. We're looking at this interaction and we're putting it out like this to tease out and open up the spaces to think about the different patterns of interaction that are coming from here. These are the intended uh, constructions, the positionings, the pushes, and this is the pull. I may push myself further into this or I may try and get somewhere else. You can't understand this without locating it both within its local hub dynamic or within its positioning in a kind of wider web of interactions. Hence, the absolute need to map out a pattern in a spontaneous and co-creative way to begin to be in dialogue with the response to the feeling and the doing. That's the heart of mapping and the heart of the model summarized in this uh, video.